Welcome to the EKU Center for the Arts. The Art Center is another landmark at Eastern Kentucky University, as well as for the city of Richmond. While under construction, board member T.J. Gilbert stated, the Performance Arts Center will provide a place for all kinds of acts that the campus doesn't have access to right now. And Gilbert was absolutely right. The Art Center is a place where audiences can see performances by some of the most famous entertainers in the world. It is the second largest art center in Kentucky, with 2,100 seats and another 250 seats inside of the center's Black Box Theater. But the show hasn't started yet. You've just gotten your tickets for this documentary on the long-awaited Center for the Arts. When the idea came about for an art center at Eastern Kentucky University, unfortunately the state of the economy was in a terrible recession, the worst since the Great Depression. That was until early 2009, when the community of Madison County, consisting of 30,000 people, began their own funding for the project. The county schools were already recognized as an arts supporting system, which added even more support for the beginning construction on the Center for the Arts. An online magazine by the name of Coil Director, issued on December 8, 2009, stated that even though faced with financial setbacks, the community believed that an art center would have educational, economic and cultural benefits and became a vital factor in the planning and funding for the facility. Construction began in 2009 and was completed in August of 2011. The building cost more than 30 million dollars. It first opened to an invited audience on September 16, 2011. Consisting of state and local arts and government officials such as U.S. Representative Ben Chandler and Kentucky First Lady Jane Prashear. At the event, there were performances by the Cirque de la Symphony, the Eastern Kentucky University Choir, the American Spiritual Ensemble, and Kentucky's own Nick Clooney, who narrated the performance of Aaron Copeland's A. Lincoln Portrait. It opened to the public on September 24th with a performance by the Kentucky native and famous country music artist Winona Judd. The rest of the opening season included classical, pop, and jazz genres with Broadway and dance performances. Musical artists such as Willie Nelson, Aretha Franklin, B.B. King, along with The Temptations and Four Tops were some of the major headliners for the center's opening season. The facility 